Other news now in the Ebola virus, often very deadly, and after an outbreak in Africa, at least one American patient is going to be brought back to the U.S. for treatment, and that is sparking a scare about the virus possibly spreading. Jonah Kaplan talked to health officials about how this affects Wisconsin. Jonah? Mike, officials don't think the virus poses an immediate danger here, but they're preparing for it anyway. An epidemics expert at Wisconsin's Department of Health Services considers Ebola harder to get and easier to prevent. I think the basic message is we don't have any cases here. Therefore, I don't think anybody should lose over any sleep over this. At least one American with Ebola will transfer from Africa to a hospital in Atlanta. And with daily flights from Atlanta to cities across the country, some fear Ebola is just a plane ride away. Three airlines connect Atlanta and Milwaukee. But epidemics expert Dr. Jim Kazmerzik wants to minimize the hype. Ebola, even if it does get introduced in the United States, is not going to take off like it has in West Africa, primarily because we have the hospital infrastructure and infection control. Specifically, modern medicine in America enables doctors and nurses to wear gloves, goggles, and scrubs, and sanitize anything remotely close to contact with a patient. Kazmerzik also considers Ebola less contagious than other illnesses. You can't breathe it into your system. Something like measles, you have to worry about who was in the waiting room two hours after the patient was there, because that's how long you know you can you could potentially get infected just from sharing that same airspace. Still, the state won't take any chances. Health Services is in the process now of sending out warnings and guidelines to health care providers. Take special care with anyone who traveled to West Africa within the last three weeks or comes in close contact with someone who has. If a patient meets that criteria, physicians must report the case, send a specimen to the CDC, and prepare infection controls. On a national level, the Centers for Disease Control issued a stern travel warning to anyone with plans to travel to West Africa, many Americans also being told to leave those countries immediately. Live in the newsroom, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. Lots of concerns. Thanks, Jonah.